Here's the, the beautiful Inside People's Inspiration Cantalks logo. All right, so my book's called The Sea by John Banville, and uh, I titled it uh, The Sea, Life of Loss. And uh, so the, the book's main character and uh, narrator is named Max Morton. And uh, I'll just be honest with you guys, he's a pretty depressing guy. <laughs> he, uh, so recently his wife uh, passed away, and he goes back to this uh, uh, <coughs> uh, sort of oasis by the sea where he used to um, spend summers when he was a child. And so, uh, that's a lot. So, uh, in, the, uh, in the past, like when he was younger, he uh, met, uh, one summer he met this family called, named the Graces, and they have uh, these two twins who, at the time he's about like 10 years old, and uh, he meets these two twins who are about the same age as him. And so I thought Arnold and Danny did a good presentation of that. But, uh, so their names are Chloe and Miles, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, um, their, their, their mom's name is Connie, their dad's name is Carlo, and uh, Chloe and Miles have, they're like, they're pretty rambunctious teen, uh, little kids, so uh, uh, they have a, like a babysitter, and her name's Rose. And so uh, when Max uh, goes back to uh, the uh, the sea, he uh, as as an adult, the story reverts back to flashbacks, and it starts to tell tell the story of his past with the uh, the Graces, and uh, Chloe Grace was like his uh, his first love interest. He uh, he, uh, like, it was his first kiss, the first girl that he ever, like, uh, found love in. And, uh, she, uh, his, her, her brother named Miles, he's, like, a mute. He, like, refuses to speak to anybody but Chloe. And then, uh, the mom and dad are both, uh, kind of not really, they don't really pay attention to their kids. Like, they don't, uh, I mean, they like them, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so uh, that's depressing. So they, uh, throughout the story, it just kind of it tells the story of uh, Max and Chloe, and then it uh, it goes back to like his uh, his life present day. It's basically just him just getting drunk every night and feeling horrible for himself. Uh, and so his wife, his name, her name was Anna, and uh, she died of lung cancer, and so. Uh, towards the end of the book, it starts to go, uh, starts to tell the story in flashbacks of, of like her time in the hospital, and so that's when it like really gets depressing and like they they talk and stuff, and uh, <laughs> Max says uh, says to her uh, that the past beats inside him like a second heart, and uh, I thought this was an interesting quote because uh, at the at the very end of the story, you find out that uh, Chloe and Miles, they like. At the very, they um, they end up walking into the sea and killing themselves as ten year olds. It's a good. Wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. But anyways, so uh, so I uh, this book I thought it was good. I mean the the language is really nice. The words he used, like I constantly had to have like my phone in my hand looking up the words that he was saying because I didn't couldn't understand it. But <laughs> they were elegant and nice. I learned a lot. Um, and including it in the BL curriculum, I probably wouldn't. But uh, I mean, if if we really wanted to, go for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So there's my presentation.